you probably wonder how this happened to this truck that is a pretty unusual sound then happens to this um, DD15 engine you can clearly hear the sound coming from the intake side of the engine and that is where the issue is so the head is completely removed out of the truck which I already inspect and I'm going to show you so if you get closer we are going to find out where the issue is so the issue is going to be located right on the cylinder valve this one is normal see these two then we go to the other ones this is normal 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 but we have one thing is no normal see this one is pushed in and that's where we have a leak when the engine was running also we have another one right here then it's broken so you can see the little missing tap over here this is what was causing that loud leak it was pretty unusual because you're gonna have a leak then it's gonna have a lot of smoke coming from this area it is normal because all the fuel is leaking out and all the compression is leaking out as well and uh, I have not real details on what is the real cause of this problem mostly it happens when you do a DPF delete this engine has a DPF delete, this truck, this Cascadia has a DPF delete and, and I believe then that is the reason I am not completely sure of it but most of the DD15 engines that I have seen with this issue they have the same type of problems then the cylinder valve, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be specific one specific cylinder it could be cylinder number one, it could be cylinder number seven but I mean number seven, number six, it only has six cylinders um, and uh, but it's going to break, it's going to crack inside it's gonna miss a little piece of the cylinder uh, bulk and um, uh, I am not completely sure of the real answer of that but I am thinking then that could be an issue on Cummins ISX happens in a different way than cylinder valves they crack over the time when you do a DPF delete but this happened because the head cracks so the head cracks a little, just a little line and then start uh, destroying the seat of the bulb and this start pushing in the because the spring is pushing the bulb all the way to the seating position and it's getting pushed in, pushed up so in this case the same way because the springs over here are pushing the bulb up the ball is getting pushed up but in this case we have a broken ball so the, I am not saying then if you delete your DPF system this is going to happen but it's probably that is the issue on this DD15 engine um, solution to this problem it's pretty easy we have to replace the cylinder head that will be the solution to this problem nothing else uh, cause of this problem is going to be around like what if you buy a cylinder head from factory from the dealer that is going to cost around three thousand um, dollars plus labor probably around like six thousand dollars with everything maybe seven thousand dollars depending where you do the job uh, parts and everything coolant oil that is not included that's something then you have to add but if uh, you do an aftermarket or a, um, a, a machine shop that is close to your area, something like that, that number could go a little lower because the cost of rebuilding the head is going to be way cheaper. So if you have a head that was rebuilt from a machine shop outside, probably you are going to pay from 1200 all the way to $2,500 for a head that was repaired but this could be the uh, question for you how you wanna know which is going to be the best route to go because uh, if you are going to replace the head for another one that was previously used 
and it was rebuilt probably is going to get the same problem if you have a dpf delete if you don't have a dpf delete probably any option will be okay but if you have dpf delete probably you have to think twice what option you are going to get um, but uh, it is just a point of view i am not saying that this is the real reason why this is happening but i'm trying to to understand if that is the real reason because i've been seeing this over and over i have a couple videos already about d15s already with uh, broken cylinder valves and um, this it is not something new then i already posted on my channel and i don't think that is going to be the last uh, video i'm gonna do and most of the trucks that i have shown with this type of issue have dpf deletes but uh, this is something that we all understand then we spend money here or we don't spend money here it's going to equal the same way at the end in this case the engine is the one that suffers if you don't do any deletes the SCR box or DPF components are the ones that are going to suffer on your pocket so um, it, it, is, it, it, it is going to be one way or another but uh, um, basic of explanation there is not much to add about this problem because it's very specific on where the issue is the way this problem is going to happen is going to vary because sometimes the cylinder valve breaks on the exhaust area and when this happens the sound doesn't happen over here the engine misfires the engine doesn't have uh, power on the specific cylinder but you don't hear the sound very clearly because on the 15 engines the sound doesn't sound very very clearly like on a Cummins ISX on Cummins ISX you can hear the leak very easily but on the 15 engines it's a little harder to hear it you have to pay a lot of more attention but it can happen on both sides but um, where it's going to happen well that will depend on um, you know on how the head uh, it's going to manage the issue and uh, how the head is going to uh, be rebuilt or was repaired before and all those factors are going to actually add to your uh, component that is the head and this is going to affect on how long it's going to last um, but uh, so far I think this is all I have uh, probably later we're going to continue doing this uh, uh, other videos like this just uh, be sure to comment below if you didn't understand much of the things I say and um, or if you want more explanations or questions or you if you have something else to add if you already went through a trouble like this and you want to share it use the comment section below there uh, you can leave that uh, doubt that we all have about this issue if probably if it happened to you tell us how it happened just comment below how it happened it happened because you already did this or you did that or it just uh it broke for no reason so just say that so that way we all can understand a little more how this issue is happening because right now i'm still trying to figure out what is the issue but eventually we will know what is the real cause of this type of issues when i send support to the channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel um if you want to contact me directly go to instagram francisco my youtube follow me there and ask me um whatever question you have but just be sure to have the specific answer i mean the specific uh, information to get the best answer for you uh subscribe to the channel is very important like the video and thank you for watching